All right, so the 4th of July is tomorrow, and I want to start by giving you some of the uh, history behind, let's say, the 4th of July in terms of climatologically speaking, what we've seen in Meridian. So the hottest 4th of July for Meridian was back in 1977. We had a high of 102. The coolest high temperature we've had for the holiday was 72 degrees. That was back in 1940. Our coolest low temperature was 58 degrees. That was back in 1924. The rainiest 4th of July for Meridian was back in 1908. We picked up uh, just shy of two inches of rainfall and as far as any snow in Meridian on the 4th of July, that has never happened. No surprise there. So as far as what you can expect for your holiday, it won't be excessively hot. Thank goodness for that. We're not talking intense heat, although it will be hot and muggy. Thankfully, in terms of some relief from the heat will have a chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms again that will help. However, we don't want storms for our evening activities because again, it's the 4th of July and that's a possibility that we could have some around and also we don't want severe weather and there's a low potential for severe storms. So here's a look at how it's kind of panning out and it looks like damaging wind and hail will be our main threats. Again, our main threats. However, flooding is something we have to just kind of watch out for. If we see flooding, it'll be more so localized, but that's a possibility depending on if storms move over the same areas or if we have a storm or two that uh, basically is slow to move. And again, we never say no to a tornado, but the dynamics are just not fair for tornadoes with this particular setup. But again, we'll be watching everything. and You need to have multiple ways of getting alerts. The best timing will be in the afternoon and into the evening. So let's go ahead and take a look at the radar this evening and then we'll walk into the 4th of July. Right now we're looking pretty quiet north of I-20. Earlier this evening we had most of our activity north of the interstate. Now south of I-20, that's where all of the action is. And we have some scattered showers and thunderstorms rolling through portions of Jasper County. We have storms sitting basically now north of Heidelberg. You did get rocked with quite a few storms. And also we have some storms around the Quitman Metro. Here's a closer view just now moving north of Bay Springs. Again, Heidelberg, we have some storms moving north of you. And we also have storms kind of filling in to Clark County right now. So some wet weather just north of the Quitman downtown area and we have showers just north of Shibuta and we also have some showers in the Choctaw County very active around Gilbert Town and Silas and as you make your way over towards Needham and even a few showers around Butler. So again, south of I-20 it is rocking and rolling. Now as far as how long that'll last, well, it looks like it could last for a few more hours. So some of that you hear outside may not be fireworks. It may be uh, Mother Nature's fireworks, but again, over the next few hours, those should wind down heading into tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. There could be some patchy dense fog. Otherwise, a quiet morning is expected, but once we get past the say, 11 o'clock hour, we're expecting the heat of the day to get those showers and thunderstorms popping up and they could be anywhere across the area. So be ready for downpours. If you have any outdoor plans, you want to make sure that you have a backup indoor plan just in case you may have to delay some outdoor activities for a little while. But eventually after 9 o'clock, we're expecting things to wind down for our area. So right now it's 79 in Meridian. It feels like it's 82 equipment. It's 84, but it feels like it's 90 because it's so steamy. And here's that Tate's fireworks forecast tonight. 11 o'clock spotty storms possible. Temperatures will be in the upper 70s. Your 4th of July forecast has highs around 90. We do have a chance for again some storms, so make sure that you keep an eye to the sky and have ways of getting alerts. We do have a first alert for the 4th of July and for Wednesday, uh, but aside from that, not intensely hot. However, next week, as we look at the 10 day forecast at 10, which is sponsored by Meridian Mutual, it does heat up again. But again, through the rest of this week, kind of hovering near average into the low 90s before tomorrow, there will be storms around, so just make sure you're watching the radar yeah. via our app so that you can kind of know where they are and if they get close go inside for a little while then come on back out.